Hey, big news out of the U.S. Department of Housing and Ur Urban Development, also known as HUD. They just announced a change to the mortgage insurance premiums that will save future borrowers hundreds of dollars a month and potentially tens of thousands of dollars over the life of their mortgage. We brought local mortgage expert Brad C. of Kentucky and Mortgage Group back on to talk about it with us. Brad, how are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. And a hey, great news for our borrowers just announced by HUD within the last couple of weeks about mortgage insurance premiums. Before we dive into the details for those who uh, may not know what that is, what we're talking about, tell us what mortgage insurance premium or MIP mm -hmm. is. Yeah, so mortgage insurance premium is basically a uh, amount that's added to your monthly mortgage that goes towards um, the mortgage insurance. So you have it on FHA loans, rural housing loans, conventional loans with less than 20% down or certain scenarios. And then um, VA does not have a monthly mortgage insurance, but it does have what's called a funding fee um, if you're not exempt. So kind of uh, weaved into all different loan types, depending on the scenario. Yeah, yeah. And what, and what does that mortgage insurance premium do? I mean, what, what is the purpose of it? I think it's really like the thought behind it is to have uh, some sort of insurance backing um, for mortgages if we have a situation where we have a lot of foreclosures or something like that, that we're not completely you know, tanking the economy, I would say. Yeah. And, and there is in a sense that I've heard in the past where, you know, we're giving you a lower down payment uh, for, for these cer certain types of loans. We're going to back that with some insurance on the back end of things, like you said, if the economy goes awry. Uh, so not everything just tanks and crumbles at once. Yeah. So uh, Department of Housing and Urban Development, they make a lot of the housing policy or administrate the housing policy for the federal government. They just made this announcement that they're lowering the premium. Tell us the specifics. What do you know about it? So the monthly mortgage insurance is based on an annual percentage. So you take the, um, the loan amount. Um, previously, it was 0.85%. Uh, um, it's been updated to 0.55% on an annual amount um, on the 3.5% down um, general like FHA, right? So for our area in Southern Indiana, our average loan amount is about 200,000. I think it's actually a little bit over, but let's use 200,000 as just like a, a round number. So that annual mortgage insurance dropped from 0.85 to 0.55. So on that $200,000 loan, we're looking at a $50 per month savings. Yeah. $49 and some change, let's call it $50. Yeah, when you first read that headline number, it says 30 basis point drop. And you think, well, that's not that big of a deal. I'll give yeah. you the numbers that the uh, housing development or uh, HUD gave in their press release. They said a $265,000 mortgage, you'll save about 800 bucks a year on mortgage insurance premium. Again, doesn't sound like a lot, but that's 67 bucks a month. That's a couple of visits to Chick-fil-A uh, covered for you there. Uh, national median home price is 467700 as of December 2022. So you're looking at about a 1400 uh annual savings on insurance premium. It's, it's a pretty significant change for us. Yeah, and I think one thing that um, to keep in mind is for our local area, you know, you're talking about those national averages, but, you know, here in our local community where, you know, where we actually are doing business, um, that $50 a month savings can be an extra five to $10,000 that you could qualify for on purchase price. Yeah, yeah. So not only, that's a great point. It doesn't just, just ch uh, impact your monthly savings, but it can impact how much you can spend on the house that you're hoping to buy. So yeah, if your max was 175, you know, 30 days ago, now that's changed and you find something at 180 you love, like you may now qualify for that $180,000 house when your previous max was 175. Yeah. So lots of benefits here. This is good news. I know you and I kind of celebrated privately and we've been expecting this change for a while finally coming into fruition. Uh, when does this go into effect, Brad? Uh, technically, HUD is making it effective March 20th, but we have seen pretty much every lender, especially the lenders that we work with, it is effective now. 
So they then went back and updated current FHA loans that we had, you know, locked in the pipeline. And so we'll be able to close those now um, with the new updated mortgage insurance premium. Yeah. So some some lenders uh, per HUD, it's at March 20th. So you may have to wait a little bit. It's Kentucky and Mortgage Group, your lenders, it looks like they're putting that in effect immediately. So you can have some benefits to your clients there. Um, look, somebody says, hey, you know, mortgage insurance premium that is adding some money to my monthly payment. How can I just avoid this altogether? Are there are ways that people can can get rid of that. Yeah, you can get rid of it currently on conventional loans or 20% down when you buy is really the, the, the most common way to avoid the monthly mortgage insurance premium. Or if you've had your if you've had your house for a while and your mortgage for a while and your value's gone up, you can call the loan servicer and request um, to have it removed uh, or refinance. Uh, now is not the time to refinance, I would say, um, as of you know the first week of March that we're in. But eventually down the road, as as rates come down, it's something to seriously consider. Yeah. So there are other loan products out there that do not have the mortgage insurance premium. Generally, you're going to need a higher down payment to qualify for those. If you need, uh, if you have lesser down payment, the mortgage insurance premium is a way to help you get into the house with a mortgage. And then maybe you can undo that later. It does bring up a question, Brad, that I wanted to ask someone sitting here saying, hey, I just bought a house in the last couple of years. It would be nice to have that lower mortgage insurance premium. Can I refinance? Should I refinance to get out of the the higher MIP and into the lower, uh, the new lower rate? What do you say? Yeah, so right now, uh, not the day to do that, I don't think, if you've had your mortgage for 12, two, three years or whatever, your rate's probably lower than what they are right now. So probably not that time. But what you do want to do is watch rates. And when the rate gets, you know, maybe a quarter to a half a percent um, under what you have now, with that additional savings of the monthly mortgage insurance is probably well worth doing. FHA also has what's called a streamlined refinance, which is pretty quick and easy to do. Um, very little documentation. You've already got an FHA loan. You've made all your payments on time. Um, they allow you to do what's called a streamlined refinance finance to drop that rate. And then ultimately that multi that monthly mortgage insurance as well. Yeah. Yeah. Brad, I don't, uh, I don't want to put any more work on you. I'll say this for me and then maybe you can chime in. I watch rates on a weekly basis. I know you and I exchange uh, text messages, phone calls, emails on rates. Uh, folks, if you, if you think that you might want to refinance at some point, you know, that's not my area of expertise, but I'm happy to help watch those rates with you, help you keep you updated on that. Give me a call. Uh, if that's something that you're interested in, Again, we can kind of keep you updated on those mortgage rates. Uh, I'm assuming Brad Brad would be interested as well in helping you uh, have that, at least that initial conversation to see, hey, when would it make sense? Um, uh, Brad, again, chime in on that, if you will. Yeah, so um, what we do is we do watch rates. We live and breathe it every day, right? That's what we do. So if you are in a situation where you've got a slightly higher interest rate or you have the FHA with a higher mortgage insurance and you want us to watch rates for you, um, what I generally like to see, if you, if you can send me your most recent mortgage statement, that kind of gives me your, your interest rate, your monthly mortgage insurance, the principal balance of your loan, like all the information that I need. And then I drop everybody into a pretty detailed Excel spreadsheet. And then I'll watch those rates. And when I see... Um, opportunity arise, I will reach out to people. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So let Brad uh, watch on your behalf. He'll he'll keep you posted on rates. And when it makes sense for you to, to, to do that, he'll be there ready for you. And again, you got a couple of streamlined options on the, on the FHA refinance. Brad, this is great news, great information for uh, future home buyers and then potentially for those folks that may be refinancing in the future. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll put your contact information so people can reach out to you for more information on this. Uh, but again, thank you for being our local market mortgage expert. And uh, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate you having me again, Mike. Talk soon.